welcome to Wine TV. I'm Amber. And I'm Dave. And today we are going to bring you something different. Now, we're probably having an alcohol free day, which doesn't happen that often, and it's probably good for us to do it. So, today we're not going to bring you any wines that are good to taste. We thought we'd bring you something a little bit different because when you hear a lot of people talk about wine, they're always saying, oh, this smells like gooseberry, raspberry, African pear, and way out, you, you know. know. And if you're, yes. if you're only just getting into wine or you, you want to get into wine but you, you think it's a bit wanky, you know, these are the sorts of things that people are saying about it. You know, it smells like raspberries and I can smell the oak and the tannin and I can smell all and this sort of stuff. All you can probably smell is, it smells like red wine to me. It smells like fruit or and wine. And I tell you what, you know, when we first started getting into wine, we were like, oh my God, it just smells like wine. Absolutely. I mean, I, I loved wine when I tried, tried it, but I never got really into all the poncy things about it, which I do now. So we decided that when we were getting into wine, we wanted to invest in our wine knowledge. And this isn't for everyone, but it can be a bit of fun. So there's something out on the market called wine aromas, which different kits that you can buy, they're like all bottled smells of different aromas or smells that you'd get in wine. And, and it's uh, white wine, red wine. So, you know, for example, there's probably a lot of times that you'll smell something and go, it smells like something I recognize, but you don't know what it is. Like you, And then, then you go, oh, it's pear. And you go, oh yeah, it is smell oh, like pear. I knew that. And you know, there's a number, there's the amount of times that you go, oh, I can smell it, but I can't actually put a name on it. Because as a kid, you, you're taught to read, you're taught to write, but you're not necessarily taught to smell. You just kind of get used to smelling strawberries and think, yeah, that's a strawberry. But if someone actually blindfolded you and gave you like a whole lot of different smells, you know, you might be hard pressed to tell what they are. Absolutely. So, look, what we're going to show you is a couple of the kits that you can buy, um, and even better if your friends have them and you don't have to buy them. But there's some expensive ones and not so expensive ones, so don't get too worried about it. And, you know, even if you don't have these kits, a great way to do it is just go out and buy a whole lot of fruits and see if you can do a blind smell and see what they are. But, so, a couple, um, these are these a couple ones, that you could get from Dan Murphy's and you probably still can. They're 19 95 so they're not going to break the bank. There's one that's called White Wine Aromas. Which is, looks something like that. And there is also a really cool one, now it's my turn. Ooh, Red Wine Aromas. Come back, probably out of light, yep, there we go. Red Wine Aromas, cool. So, these are pretty cool, and what they come with is... So you open them up, and it's a bunch of little bottles, you know, like that. So. And some instructions. And instructions and, stuff. and booklets and stuff. stuff. So, um, what you actually do with these exciting little bottles is you smell them. Now, <laughs> that might sound like, okay, I know what, I, uh, you know, this one, a strawberry smells like. Look, and these ones are really easy. They're all labeled on there. They say, you know, it says you know, grapefruit, lemon, lime. This is a white wine one. It tells you what they are. That smells like strawberries. Get it? And it smells like strawberries. But what the fun thing you can do with friends is what I'm going to do with David now is I pick at one and everyone actually has to write down on a piece of paper or guess what it is. So this one here. Mind you, when you open these boxes, you get a big flux of multiple smells. So it kind of ruins your smell a bit. That's just my excuse. Okay. You can't look at what this one is. Oh, it's a little bit, oh, as soon as you say it, you know what it is. I hope you didn't cheat then, David. This is red wine smells, yeah? Yeah, red wine smells. Well, it's, it's a fruit. <laughs> and it's red, <laughs> like red wine. And this is when your brain gets really confused because you know what it smells like. But you're like, oh my gosh, I can tell that smell. And that's the thing is, I, I know, I really know what this is. It's amazing. It's really quite accurate too. And you sit there, like I am right now, trying to think, what the hell? I could smell it and it's... It's and like, it's not strawberries because it's not quite light and fruity enough. It's, it's darker than that. It kind of reminds me of, I don't know when you were a kid and you had those Zupa Dupas. Like the long lolly, the long ice he's, pops. He's getting closer. And there was a, fla a red flavour of that. And we need, we need kind that. of 
raspberry-ish. Raspberry, you know. So is that your final answer? Is your final answer raspberry? Raspberry. What does the bottle say? Well, you might see it, might go a bit dark. Raspberry. So David was actually right on that. It actually tastes just like those little raspberry lollies. But see how, so, I, see how I kind of went to, you know, things I remembered as a kid and like those ice box because it, the kind of, it was probably a little, it's probably, look, it's probably a bit sugar, more sugary than what an actual raspberry smells like, but it, it's that essence and that's what I, that's what I, how I got it. So it's easier to tell when you've got your, your lots of red and white. You can actually go for like the mothership of all of them, which is called Le Nez de Vin. In, yeah, in, yeah. This, is, this is probably world renowned, is probably the, the most accepted and kind of accurate wine aromas kit you can buy. This is people who are really into wine. So, you know, it's a little bit exy. Um, it's a couple of hundred bucks. Well, this, 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 there's a bunch of different, this is um, 54 aromas in this and it's red and white smells. And includes all types of anything you can think of to describe wine. It's in here. Now, and there's a few different versions. You can buy it in 12, you can buy a 25 kit, you can buy ones that basically the 12s are red or white. You know, so what you drink mostly, you can buy them in. This is the biggest one, it's 54 kit, and it's quite expensive, as in it's probably not in your budget for this sort of thing. It's about 500 bucks. You could buy a lot of wine for what you could buy for this. But Absolutely. But if, you if you've got friends that have got it, try it. So, what this lovely kit includes is apart from a massive woofy smell when you open it uh, there if you can kind of see that's what you get in the box so you get all these oh. great wines <laughs> wow all these smells yeah you can and they're numbered so what you do with friends is you will sit around a table and you can go around and you can either randomly test these yourself pick one at random and see if you can smell what it tastes like um, or smell name what it smells like or you can go with friends and choose five bottles and then everyone has to name what they are and wait till you get to some smells like things like butter and you're like oh my god i know it but so this is the same it. thing it comes with a booklet it's actually quite quite full-on stuff um talks about each variety and the common smells and then the numbers related to those smells and what a good thing is you know if you've got a glass of wine or if you buy yourself um, and you know, you read on the back, it smells like lemon, it smells like lime, it smells like, you know, a pear. You can grab your big kit like this, or you know, grab your Dan Murphy's kit, which has still got all of them, and you can match it and go, yeah, that's, this is what, this smells like lemon, I can smell it in that bottle. So, it can be a lot of fun to do. And this one comes with cards, you know, the, the Lanez de Vin. Um, it's like, it's like a big board game, you know, you've got a big number three and it's orange, you know, and then on the back of it, it will tell you all about that smell and what varieties. You're generally uh, fine. And, and, you know, in French you'll find Bordeaux uh, and, uh, you know, that sort of thing. So it's, it's, it's really, really quite useful. So the bottom line, guys, is if you really want to get to know your wines a little bit better and also you, you want to have fun with it as well, um, Grab some either common fruits around it, so lemons, limes, cut them up, have a bit of a smell, or go to Dan Murphy's, grab something like your $20 kits, and give them a smell, and um, and see if you can improve uh, your nose. And, and it's a great great for a gift as well to someone. If you got if you have someone that's a bit of a wine ponce. Someone who has everything, I can guarantee you they probably won't have this. So, there you go. So that's... um. That's all from us, guys. Something a bit different, and that's Lenez de Vin. Happy and night. Wine aromas. Happy and smelling. Happy smelling. Catch See ya.